guys, it's Tilly and today I am back with another video. It is going to be my top 10 TBR books that I actually have on my bookshelves. And for those of you who don't know, I have a huge TBR that now takes up two entire bookshelves and it was really hard to just pick the top 10 because I just want to read them all. But I have narrowed it down. These are the ones that I am the most excited to read and that I will probably get around to reading soon. So in 10th place I have The Outliers by Kim Lee McCreith, or McCrite, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this book seems like it's going to be a really interesting mystery. So basically you have The Outliers, which are people who can hear what is in everybody else's minds. So basically it says on the back here, like imagine how valuable you would be, how much danger you would be in. And it goes on to talk about a girl called Wiley whose best friend Cassie has gone missing, and then she starts to receive text messages that just are a bit out there and yes yeah, so basically to me it sounds like it's gonna be a really good mystery uh, hopefully action-packed but I'm really intrigued by it so yeah I'm, I want to read it in ninth place we have Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Gordon and I haven't read this one yet because I really wanted to wait till the second book in the series came out before I read it because it sounds like a book that the ending will leave me wanting more and so I want to make sure that I actually have the more before I start reading it so this one is Germany 1956 is 10 years since the Nazis won the war and basically you have 70 year old Yale who has one job and that is to kill Hitler I don't really know what to expect from this book but I have heard really amazing things from it so I'm super excited plus I'm a huge fan of historical fictions so yeah. so I've had this book on my shelf for a very long time and it has taken me just about that same time to realize that this is an author that I've already read before and it is in fact V.E. Schwab and I did not connect the dots that this was the same author until like a few months ago. So that is The Archived um, so yeah, by Victoria Schwab and I am really excited to read this book. Um, I have heard many great things about it. One reason I haven't actually read it I think is because I haven't got the entire series and if it's a Victoria Schwab book then I know I'm going to love it anyway so I better buy those. Yeah more books. This next one is a new release and the cover of this book is so beautiful that I had to pick it up and that is The Loneliness of Distant Beings by Kate Ling and as you guys can see it's pretty damn beautiful. Um, I love books that have stars on the covers especially like this kind so yeah I really want to read this. So from what it sounds like, this is a sci-fi novel um, basically about a girl who's living on a ship. She obviously dreams of like a bigger life than just traveling through space. Most importantly that she wants to feel the sun on her skin. And then a new character called Dom comes into her life and suddenly her life revolves around him as if he is the sun too. So it sounds like it's going to be a romance but I really do hope there is more to it because I wouldn't mind like a real nice action packed romance. You know, after reading Illumine, I think that's changed all sci-fi novels to me. I just expect like crazy epicness to be happening in space all the time. I don't know why I've been putting off this next book. Um, it's something that is right up my alley. Once again, it's an author that I absolutely love and it sounds like it's going to be a book that I will become my favourite and yet I have not read it and I've heard it there since like January I think. And that is Passenger by Alexander Bracken and I just don't know why I haven't read it yet. I thought it was about a girl who has pulled back through time I think to 1776 in the midst of a pirate sea battle and she has to kind of figure out how to live her life in this new time zone while we're trying to get back and you know meeting people that makes her kind of wonder does she want to go home? It is a book that I know I will like and that is why it's like number six on my top ten list because I've got to read this. Ready Player One by Ernst Klein. This is another book that I have needed to read for a very long time but I've never got around to it and I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a movie though isn't it? I don't know. I'll read it anyway. So what I've kind of got from the blurb of this book is that the world that everyone lives in is pretty much destroyed, everything has gone ugly, think about Trump being president, this is what would happen afterwards and then you've got your main character and a lot of people who live in this world escape into virtual reality and so that's what this character does. And then there's like a big competition slash prize to be won in this virtual reality and our main character here is trying to win that prize. 
but it probably brings him trouble and dangers and love or some sort of wicked friendship that I'm hoping is in this book. The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson and I have been looking at getting this book for a very long time. I only bought it last week because I haven't seen it on bookshelves like very often. So when I did, I picked it up straight away and I'm very excited to read it. So it is about two characters. Um, you have David who wants to be a girl and Leo who wants to be invisible. And basically David is getting bullied at school. So Leo stands up for him and they create an awesome friendship, which I really, really hope that this book portrays really well because I'm in dire need of some really awesome friendship books right now. And anyway, um, pretty much they both have secrets and in a high school in this book you just know that the secrets aren't going to stay in so it's going to be probably very heartbreaking and hopefully uplifting at the same time. This is like my next go-to book when I'm in a bad mood because it's going to be like an immediate cheer up book and that is The Trials of Apollo the Hidden Oracle by Rick Rorton and I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this book is about. It is about Apollo, I love Apollo, and basically him and Percy go on an adventure. I don't actually um, know much besides that, I mean I've, I've talked to a few people who have read it and everyone says it's good, not as amazing as the other books but it's good, but there's Apollo in it and I love Apollo so I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this book and that is why it is number three. Number two is The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone and I remember reading a bit about this book before it was released and it sounds like it's going to be amazing and I looked online and the reviews were even better than I could have expected and so it's been pretty high in my TBR and I only managed to buy it last week and I need to read it very soon. So basically you have the main character who is called Maddie and um, she has her son planned out and then she finds out her grandma is dying and her grandma has decided that she's going to take the entire family on a round the world cruise and so they just go and have this huge adventure but there's also that heartbreaking undertone that the grandma won't be coming back with them that this is her last hurrah pretty much but Apparently it's just a really fun contemporary read that's filled with a lot of heart and I'm so excited. And in first place is a book that I am so damn excited for. I only picked it up but I would be reading it right now if I wasn't halfway through another book. And that is And I Darken by Kirsten White and I am so excited for this. Um, from what I have gathered it is a fantasy book. Um, this chick here is a beautiful warrior princess. Um, she also has her brother who is the opposite of her, kind, gentle and loving. And then you also have the Sultan's son who is causing trouble for the these two people so they're just trying to survive but she's also like ruthlessly going to do everything to make it out of this alive. Now this is what I'm getting at the blurb so I don't know if it's 100% accurate but the reviews I've heard of this and the people who have read it it is wonderful plus the hardcover for this book is beautiful which I need to go and buy a pronto because even though I love this one the hardcover is so beautiful so I really hope that I enjoy it because then I can get multiple copies of it. So those are the books that are the top 10 on my TBR. If I have described any of them wrong, I am truly sorry. I'm sure I will amend for it when I have them in my wrap up videos for whenever I get around to reading them. But for now, I would love it if you guys could tell me your opinions on those books if you have read them. That way I can maybe shuffle them around the piles to see what's good and what's not. And yeah, that'll be amazing. So thank you guys for watching. I I will hopefully see you guys soon. And until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and everything great happens to you. Comment below what you guys are currently reading or say hello and we can have a nice little conversation and you guys can also talk to me on my other social media which I will link below. So yeah, that's everything. I will hopefully be back with another video soon. I've kind of been a bit slow this like last two weeks so I'm going to be uploading just videos left, right and centre until I'm back on track. So enjoy my face folks. <laughs>